Hold me fast, hold me close, hold me tightly. Hold me fast, hold me close, hold me tightly. Hold me fast, hold me close, hold me tightly. Once I started adding more stuff, it actually started to sound worse. Hello everyone, welcome to the microphone battle of 2020. This is going to be a mic shootout between the $200 microphone, an $800 microphone, and a $5,000 microphone. It's going to be a dynamic, a condenser, and a tube. It's going to be just a comparison. We're not comparing apples to apples here. We're comparing apples to oranges. These all have different applications and they work for different things. So we're just going to test out what works for what. And hopefully this is helpful to you to know around what price point you want to go and to know whether you want a tube microphone, a condenser, a modeling mic like the Slate ML1, which is what I'm using right now. So here we go. My wife is here. If you hear any weird things going on, that's her going crazy. She's a little sick too. So sick in the head. So I recorded male vocals, female vocals, and acoustic guitar. I recorded with three different microphones, Sennheiser E935, which is a dynamic microphone. We're gonna be testing out the Slate ML1, which is a condenser microphone, and it's a, a modeler, so it models older tube mics. And we're gonna be testing out the Neumann 149M, which is a tube microphone. So you'll be able to hear the difference between all of them. So the Sennheiser E935 is a dynamic microphone. It's designed for live vocals, so it's not actually for studio use. Um, I have used it for studio, and I've used it on other people as well. So I think it works great. We'll test it out on acoustic guitar too and see how it goes. Um, just keep in mind that it's, it's designed for vocals and for live vocals specifically. The Slate ML1 is a modeler and it is very flat. Even with the emulation, it's still very flat, which could be a good thing because if you want it to be versatile, then you can use it for many different instruments or many different applications. And also you can tweak it and it still sounds good even if you put a ton of EQ on it. The Neumann is uh, very warm, it has a warm bottom, and it also has a lot of sparkle. My favorite use for it is male vocals. That's absolutely my favorite use for it because it brings out a lot of the of airiness to it. For female vocals, it tends to be a little bit harsh, but of course, it's a $5,000 microphone, so you could use it for recording pretty much any instrument, and it's going to sound really good. So now I'm gonna show you the female vocals. This is my wife singing. This is gonna be her wonderful voice. It was recorded straight into the Apollo X4 interface and it has no preamps, no anything. So it's bare naked. I'm gonna make note of the differences so you can start to listen and test to see if you can actually hear what the differences are. And then after for the male vocals and the guitar, I'm gonna do a blind test so you guys can actually see and hear what it is that the differences are and test out if you can actually hear those differences or if it's just a placebo effect. So they were all level matched to a meter so you guys are able to actually listen to the differences between each two and not just volume differences. So starting out, here are the female vocals. Over and over again <clears throat> In my throat there's so much flair <laughs> <laughs> That was so good. <laughs> Just kidding. Here are the female vocals. Honey, please stick by my side. I choose you. Hold me fast, hold me close, hold me tightly. Honey, please stick by my side. I choose you Hold me fast, hold me close, hold me tightly Honey, please stick by my side I choose you Hold me fast, hold me close, hold me tightly Hold me fast, hold me close, hold me tightly. Hold me fast, hold me close, hold me tightly. Hold me fast, hold me close, hold me tightly. 
Now, as I said, for the acoustic guitar and the male vocals, we're going to do a blind test to see if you guys can actually hear the differences between these microphones. So for the acoustic guitar, it was recorded straight into the Apollo X4. I am using the UAD 610B preamp. I'm not adding anything on it. I'm just passing it through the preamp. And then I'm putting 2 dB of compression through the 1176, again from UAD. No EQ, no effects, um, nothing else besides just the preamp and 2 dB of compression. Now before you hear it, just make sure you tap the like button because it helps me out a lot. I put a lot of time into this and I really don't ask for much, but it makes a big difference if you just like the video. So please go ahead and like it and I will feel a lot better. Thank you. So here are the guitar tracks raw. Number one. Number two. Number three. So did you get them right? Let me know which one tripped you up or if you got them all right. Now here are the male vocals, again raw. This time instead of using the 1176, I'm using the LA-2A. So this compressor is a little bit slower to make it nice and smooth on the vocals. Here are the vocal tracks. Number one. There's a complex game I didn't want to play. It's a labyrinth inside a game of chess. I am still convinced that this is where I'll stay I'll endure even when I am a mess If I keep on trying, I might feel like flying yeah. Yeah, yeah. Number 2 There's a complex game I didn't want to play It's a labyrinth inside a game of chess I am still convinced that this is where I'll stay I'll endure even when I am a mess If I keep on trying, I might feel like flying yeah. Yeah, yeah. Number 3 There's a complex game I didn't want to play It's a labyrinth inside a game of chess I am still convinced that this is where I'll stay I'll endure even when I am a mess If I keep on trying, I might feel like flying yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'll endure even when I am a mess I'll endure even when I am a mess I'll endure even when I am a mess. All these tracks will level match to make sure that no track stands out in terms of volume to make you like it more. Now the last blind test is a mixed version of both the vocals and the guitar together. I added some EQ, I fixed some tuning issues, and I added reverb, um, some harmonics and saturation just to bring it all together. 
So um, we'll see how you like them. Tell me which one you think stands out the most. Again, these are level matched. So this is just going to be tonal comparison. Number one. There's a complex game I didn't want to play. It's a labyrinth inside a game of chess. I am still convinced that this is where I'll stay. I'll endure even when I am. If I keep on trying, I might feel like flying. Hey, hey. Number two. There's a complex game I didn't want to play. It's a labyrinth inside a game of chess. I am still convinced that this is where I'll stay. I'll endure even when I am. If I keep on trying, I might feel like flying. Hey, hey. Number three. There's a complex game I didn't want to play. It's a labyrinth inside a game of chess. I am still convinced that this is where I'll stay. I'll endure even when I am. If I keep on trying, I might feel like flying. Hey, hey. I'll endure even when I am a mess. I'll endure even when I am a mess. I'll endure even when I am a mess. So, did you get them right? Once I added the reverb and the compression and all that, um, it just adds a lot more color to each one. And I was actually surprised. To me, the slate sounded uh, really nice. It was actually warm. In my opinion, the Neumann actually sounded best when I left it alone. I added just some tiny bit of EQ here and there, but it sounded really good already. Once I started adding more stuff, it actually started to sound worse. The slate sounded a lot better once I, I EQ'd the heck out of it. And then the Sennheiser, the dynamic microphone, that one just kind of lost its brilliance. It started to sound harsh no matter what I did to it. Um, so the slate is really good if you want to tweak the sound the most, but the most expensive microphone just sounds good without you having to do much to it. Again, that is my opinion, but um, let me know what your opinion of each microphone is down in the comments below. So I got the $200 microphone, the Sennheiser, which is about $200. I got that one five years ago and I've used it on a lot of records. It doesn't really sound good on anything other than vocals, but it is a workhorse. I play with it everywhere I take it, whenever I sing somewhere, and I think it's a really good microphone. If you just want to start out recording, I would say go with that one. If you have a little more money to spend, this Slate microphone is awesome because I don't really feel good carrying around a $5,000 microphone and just pulling it out for whatever it has to be a paid occasion. So definitely the Slate is really good because also you can tweak it for wherever. But let me know what you have and what you work with and what you would get out of these three microphones and price points. Thank you for watching. Subscribe for more videos like this. I'm trying to do one of these videos each week. As time goes on, I'm going to start doing them more and more often. Make sure to like and ring the bell. I'm on social media. I'm on Instagram and Facebook and all that. Um, but mostly I'm going to stay on YouTube to try to get more videos out to you guys. And anyone that is interested in music and, and recording music, this channel is for you. So thank you and see you next time.